listening to the students talk about what it was like to go to Golden West College and what the culture was like, you're really trying to embody that feeling and create an identity that was unique to the building but also is reflective of the campus as a whole. The campus has been around for quite some time and the original buildings at the core of campus were very distinct in their character. But over the years, new buildings have been coming online that were a little bit more progressive. So we were challenged with responding to the work of other designers um, in a modern day setting. And so one of the concepts that we explored was this idea of visually bridging, which took elements of the buildings on both sides, which kind of bookended our site, and tried to create something that was visually cohesive between the two. The buildings in Huntington Beach, which is a great environment, it's a beautiful campus actually. And so because of that, we wanted to bring that into this building and we actually kind of wrapped the building around a courtyard to bring that lawn and that quad and those trees into what felt like into the building. So we created this big entry portal to invite people into this building. Instead of having them go around the building, we wanted them to come right through it. And they are forced to walk right by this huge resource space that they can see into, it's all glass, floor to ceiling, and our goal is to net them into that space and bring them in, they see it, they can't unsee it, they wanna go in there and check it out, and that's really kind of the big goal of that central hub space of the STEM Center in the building. In the past, a lot of the elements of STEM, the science, technology, engineering, and math, were taught in isolation from one another. And there's, at the time we started this, there was this groundswell towards pushing that back together again. It gave us an opportunity to start to introduce connections between those departments in the architecture. So not just like the way that the students traveled through the space, but so that they could actually see what other students were doing and start to ask questions and maybe even start to talk to those other students and start to think about additional career pathways that they might be able to take just by putting it on display inside of the building. I think one of the key components of the building is not even the grand spaces, but it's actually all the nooks and crannies that help bind this building together. Those spaces that we affectionately call sticky spaces, it turns common corridor spaces into something much more than just a means of going from point A to point B. But as an attractor, as a space that attracts students to, to sit down and stay and have those conversations, really helps the college. Keeping students on campus and in an academic mindset for a longer time, because research shows when you do that, the rate of success for students increases. I feel like the project exhibits connectedness trying to create a social and academic network at the same time. I think it's very transparent, it's very accessible, it's very open. I'm just hoping that people are not only wowed by it, but just inspired by it. That they feel great within the space and they may not even understand why. It could be a mixture of the vibe that's created, the light coming in, just the spaciousness of it. It's an environment that regardless of where they're at in the building, they enjoy being there. Makes me feel really good that we can affect the community like this and provide the next 50 years of education to these students on this campus.